Hello, welcome to the Holistic Healer Podcast, a podcast dedicated to all things holistic. I am your host, Cheryl Lee. Today, back for part three, is Magdalena White, otherwise known as Raw Coconut Girl. This is going to be part of a continued series about varying topics of discussion. Today, we take a deep dive into relationships, creating harmony, learning the difference between judgment and discernment, and so much more. Enjoy the show. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Holistic Healer Podcast. I am your host, Cheryl Lee, and I have back on today the one, the only, the beautiful Magdalena, I'm raw so coconut sweet. girl. <laughs> so excited. This is our number three interview together, and that's why we're going to do this again because we just flow so well together and we have so much to talk about that it's impossible to talk about all what we want to share in one or two or perhaps even three podcasts. <laughs> we could be doing these podcasts until the end of time. You never know. Subjects never run out. So today we've both decided that we're going to just allow the flow to take us where you know it's going to take us. But we are going to start with the concept of relationships and what that just all the dynamics of a relationship. And also when it comes to sharing a life with someone who's also using living foods and leading a more hygienic, we could say lifestyle as opposed to relationships that are not that way. And some of the things that can come up along the way. So thank you for coming back on today. <laughs> thank you for having me back of course, <laughs> yes, of course today from new york not florida no Hawaii. yeah right so we've done one in maui one in florida and one in new york so we're gonna have to catch you when you're in poland too <laughs> <laughs> definitely in other every, places we'll be yeah. like okay are you changing a play? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Every destination Magdalena goes to, I have to like catch her and get her for another interview. <laughs> <laughs> so sweet. I can actually uh, speak up about the uh, the differences, you know, about being raw. Actually, fruitarian. Uh, yeah. Fully on fruit. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Fruit fully on fruit, and even the differences of even that, as opposed to someone who's maybe like raw food, but maybe more vegetable based and eats very little mm -hmm. fruit and how that can change not only us but also the dynamics and how we see people how we relate to people Absolutely. and all yeah. of these things so I just one thing I wanted to start out with was that I feel that we're in kind of a collective of like pivotal transformation right now in the on the planet and that there's a lot of people that are going through this maybe expansion uh, and maybe feels even more so if you are fruit-based because of the energy and the connection that that brings. So I thought maybe we'd start there. Maybe if you want to speak about that a little bit on how being fruit-based or just raw-based even as opposed to being cooked food-based, how that changes our energetics and how we relate to others. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> That changes a lot, a lot of, I, I can say so much about it. And also from my perspective and uh, partners that I used to be with, you know, mm -hmm. I think it's a, it's a very important subject to cover up and definitely be very, it's like straightforward, you mm -hmm. know, with mm -hmm. everything you expect to, from a potential partner yeah, to be, to have in the character uh, or actually speak up about these energies speak up about the truth uh, speak up about the diet mm. the lifestyle that uh, you know the partner potential partner is or is going to be mm -hmm. or is planning to be uh, right and because if you don't speak up about openly in your relationship about things that you you're maybe not expectations but desires yeah then 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 sooner or later it's not gonna work right um, you know yes. you're gonna go apart because there are different differences in their in the choices differences in the in the perspectives as well right and from my perspective uh, I've been I've been going through either relationships that were just like with uh you know uh, partners that have never been even related to plant-based food 
Mm, yeah. <laughs> and I'm, and I was, and I was fully, well, uh, you know, you can really create a loving relationship, mm -hmm. but the path can just be disconnected. So yeah. sooner or later, you're going to realize that you guys just don't match because you, it's not about physical appearance, but uh, that's too, that's, that's the connection because the body's order is different. You're not attracted to the person the way you should be attracted. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and it's not only on the physical level, it's also on the spiritual level. You just, you're disconnected fully and uh and you grow faster than the other uh, individual so you can right. the other individual is like, trying to chase you and it's like where are you where are you just calm down get, get down get down but you cannot because you're just on a different level yes and, and i don't want to say someone that is better or worse you know who is good who is bad that's not that point right exactly yeah but being raw it it brings that truth okay mm. it brings the truth to the connection that you're with if it comes to, to the astral world the spirituality and i believe that you can find yourself only through following raw 100 percent pure food within a years after i just realized that dang why i've been always like because you know when i was younger i didn't really care if my partner is on the same page like i am right because i didn't mm -hmm. understand that like i didn't know yes. that's gonna be so important in my life yes i just did what i did mm -hmm. and 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 it partners usually followed it or they didn't you know right. and um but uh it had never stopped me from being me and that was the most beautiful aspect so I always yeah. was doing my <laughs> you were always and... doing your own what you were planning on doing you were always following through mm -hmm. yeah and the connections weren't as deep and I was like always thinking like something is not like person but like something is better is waiting for me right so I was very I was I've been always very independent and mm -hmm. and and it's not only about spiritual uh, like it's not only because when you say the word independent everybody thinks about money and yeah. that's the truth because that's the as that aspect earthy aspect I would say but on the spiritual aspect it's also that it, an independency on top of that materialistic one that uh, it gives you that independence of movement you are not you, you're not gonna change your mind because of because someone told you that uh, i don't know how can you be alive eating apples let's mm -hmm. say right uh and someone's gonna be like doubting your beliefs or you, right. are you actually not beliefs but like your knowledge your experience right so i, I like yeah mm -hmm. no you go ahead just the, I was I was know. just gonna I was just gonna say like it just brings that doubt maybe in as a as um like saying oh I can survive on apples but then someone coming in and saying well that's not possible you have to you know you're gonna have to eat some meat or you're gonna have to eat this or that where then it brings in like just that statement alone can bring a lot of like friction because it's a yeah. belief system yes and and I like to say uh I mean, not I like to say that's the truth. I, I haven't learned. In, so I, I didn't learn any anything that I'm following. I didn't learn. Mm. It's just something I brought right. <laughs> from my right. past yes. life. Yes. So, so I brought it in since uh, I was a little girl. Like my family remembers me from me having fruit in my plate all the time and just wanted to chew on fruit I didn't and, mm. and eating tomatoes from the fridge and they were always missing yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> where did all the tomatoes go oh Magdalena was in the fridge again <laughs> you know back to Poland like that's we didn't like we had a, a lot of choice because of my mom because she was like taking care of all the fruits right stuff and, and put it in stock of everything possible to just mm. make us happy but uh but but uh, sometimes there were seasons where there we didn't have much for during winter time and the right. tomatoes were the base as well so the tomatoes sometimes were just uh, right there so yeah <laughs> so there you eat them up yeah so i i was just following it at our in it, um and i think that made me 
attract a lot of unique spirits around me, very beautiful spirits around me. And yeah. since a, a young age, and then I was just growing based on that. I not trying to change anybody, but just doing my own path. And even now, after so many years, I, you know, I got some messages from my past. Uh, and I'm speaking here about relationships, not only on the uh, romantic level, yeah, but sure. also on the, yeah, friendships. Friendships, absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I get messages uh, that said, wow, Magdalena, you've been like really inspiring. You know, when I was a kid, I laughed at you the way you eat. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's just like, oh my gosh, you're proving like you're not even like, I look way older than you are and I'm older than you, you know? Yes. Yeah, right. And and it's like, uh, and I'm older than you, and but I do look old. I look like I'm 20 years older than you and I'm just four years apart you know right. yeah so it's just it's crazy the way or my age or younger even like I have my really good friend she is uh two years younger than me and the other one is seven years younger than me and wow. and 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 they both are like oh my god how you did it <laughs> they just can't believe me. it yeah yeah so, so so that's why the, now the re- reality is coming coming up but then I started to travel around the world right and I discovered that wow like wow maybe there will be someone that is like me yeah <laughs> and I always knew that, that there is like that special person that it's yeah. there that is eating exactly the same like me and we do know that there is, but, it, you know, everybody has that person. Everybody has that person, but maybe not, you won't be able to meet that soul in this life. Maybe yeah, that, right. per- that soul is waiting for you in the next life. life. I'm not coming back on this planet anymore. That's my last time being on this, on the planet Earth. <laughs> yeah, so this is got to be it. Yeah, that's going to be it. And so all the best I'm just taking right now and and then 150 um transitioning. <laughs> 150 is going to be the like beam you up, you're done. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, yeah, that's enough of this life here on this yeah. planet. Yeah. Um but you know, I I feel like the energetical connection uh, within a years uh proved me that I follow the truth and you won't believe I wish I could share more here. Uh, I don't want to because since it's YouTube, but there's so many aspects in my life that happened recently, even on the aspects that people would be shocked that, it, no, it's impossible. Well, mm. well, I, I made it work. Like, yeah. And I would just want to say that you can uh, make things work, even if they tell you that they're impossible to do on the all the levels from the school, uh, I don't know, educational system, let's say, right. till, uh, you know, just uh, talking in a correct way with the headquarters of this, of the countries, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. just like, I'm just talking about big things, right? Uh, about like having conversation with people that are running big things as well. The way you interact with the the souls on that level, it even the business on the business level when I was running my uh, manufacturing business company, uh, my manufacturing uh, food company, yeah, um, the same thing. It was uh, everybody was telling me it's impossible to achieve this and that and this, and then I'm like all over the place all of a sudden with my products within yeah. just three months. So yeah like there is no way someone can stop you from anything and but n- now I would like to bring up I'll, I actually maybe I want to wait a little bit because I want to talk about that romantic level yes yeah for <laughs> I think sure everybody, it, mm-hmm. this is actually, actually the bomb and I would like to yeah this is this is yeah, the pearl like, the nugget in within yeah this. yeah for sure yeah and I want to talk a, a little later about it yeah but if it comes to relationships the importance here is to create that bond. And I believe, truly believe that me being on fruits brought me so many beautiful spirits around this world that seriously, I I can literally in each state almost like I can call, you know, certain like I have a friend 
yeah. you know that but it's like very close to me mm-hmm. it's just like on the angelic level yes and and we don't need to know each other necessarily for a few years on this planet no because you know each other from your past lives again and you know it yeah it's like it's like a soul recognition yes and dear I don't know if you ever experienced that but yes I I I actually trying to like uh, even ask questions uh to others questions because Mm -hmm. I always think that everybody sees the world the same I see it and within the years I learned that it's not the point uh everybody sees the world totally different than me and no you cannot see the purple in the the sky where I see it you know what I mean absolutely yeah 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 or I can see auras I didn't know people cannot see auras and Mm. I talked to like a kid little kids talking about auras to people you know I'm like hey do you see the aura of this person and and, you know my friend is like looking at me you're a cuckoo yeah I see nothing aura what are you talking about (laughs) I'm like that halo you don't see it you know and as a kid so innocent yeah playing around with colors and that was an like kind of like magic to some people you know yeah. and, I'm yes. like, crazy. and probably so- scary to some people right or threatening in some ways because it's if you you know you say <laughs> you're seeing something that they're not seeing automatically in their world you're like the weird one or yeah you know you're the one that's got something going on rather yeah. than having this beautiful gift that you have to be able to do that yeah, you know, I'm very grateful at the beginning that was a curse because mm-hmm. I just mm-hmm. saw a lot of aspects and it's not only about aura, even it's about healing energy, about showing the way I use my hands, you know, to pass the energy uh, yes. and how I use my hands as satellites and same with my hair or something that I connect on the surface. Someone told me, the other day that when I entered the room, the whole like golden light is entering. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. it, and that was, and that's not the first person that told me that. And uh, that's interesting. I'm like, everybody sees the gold, but that's the truth. Like the way my aura looks like right now, yeah. even it's more in that color. But the the amazing thing about it is that I also see gifts in other people. And someone can say, I don't have this gift. No, you do have this gift. Mm, you yeah. just don't know how to use it. Yeah. And it, it requires time. That's why I love working with people, telling them, ask yourself what kind of talent, gift you got. And mm. if you don't, you don't feel it, you cannot answer within a second because you cannot think, overthink. Things. Right. Yeah, yeah. It'll just come up. Yeah. If mm-hmm. I ask you what kind of talent you have, what would you say? Right now, how thinking? Um, my ability to connect. See, okay. my con- connection, Beautiful. connection. Yeah, yeah. See, and this is the beauty. Not everybody has that, mm. and you do. Be- that's why you do the podcast. because yeah. you're great with qu- you. You like to question. You yes. you like to ask questions. I like to ask you questions. Do- yes. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 you are very straightforward too, to the point. Like, okay, let's just talk about yeah. this and that and mm-hmm. you articulate things well and you know and and other pe- people have no clue about it how to do it and they really wanted the podcasts but they yeah. but they they do not good they I don't want to use the word suck but no <laughs> that's how it is <laughs> but that's how it is and then they have to switch and then yes. they discover that they're amazing and yeah. let's say creating I don't know do DIY yeah you know? Yeah. Because, and I feel like it's, it's really when you're trying to push against something that's not resonant with you, where Mm -hmm. you want to, but when you ask and you do the self-inquiry and you ask your soul, you know, how, how does this feel? You know, how am I showing up? How am I not showing up? It's like the answers are all there. You know, you just have to take the time, like you say, the time and, and the ability to tap in and ask yourself those questions you know, and be ready yeah. for the answer. Cause maybe sometimes the answer isn't the one you want to hear. Yeah. Just right. listen. And, and, and people are like, Oh, I don't see any answer. You told me that God's going to give me an answer. Well, mm. you're disconnected because right. the answer is there. 
I get an answer every evening when I ask for, if uh, if I ask a question, I get an answer. You get an answer. Yeah. Next mm-hmm. day, and the next day I wake up and I get an answer. Mm-hmm. And my mom gets an answer on the next day too. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and some of my clients that tra- I, 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 I try to train for years, they get answers as well. But it yeah. takes time and not everybody is uh, capable of doing these things because the p- pituitary pineal gland uh, is it's clogged up and that requires, you know, a, a lot of work to a lot of work. Yeah. And I think open it up, to open yeah. it up like um, Dan, when I had him on my show, he's like we were talking about constipation, but like everything in the body is constipated. Right. Oh, it's not just yeah. the colon. It- it's everything. We're just constipated. And so it needs a big enema. Everything needs a, everything <laughs> needs a big enema. Exactly. Because, uh, because it, when you think about it, it's like trying to access that part of yourself when you're all clogged up, it's like, it's not, it's just not possible. You need to remove yeah. those layers and, and that takes work and it takes time. And it's not like a one and done. It's like, but you're right. We all have that ability. And also to not only sitting and asking, I mean, the universe works in all kinds of different ways and you can ask for a sign. I've, I've used this in my life a lot. Ask for signs, you know, is something, or I work with pendulum or things like this, mm-hmm. where, you know, where I feel a connection and I always get a sign always, or whatever I'm, and it's not always what I want to hear, but you know, <laughs> it's not always what I want to hear, but I have to have the, I guess the maturity to understand that if I'm going to show up and ask the question, then I have to be willing to hear the answer. Right. Yeah. However that happens to be. Yes. And I, I had a very similar situation that was that like a couple of days ago, uh, and it, it's not the first time that I ask questions, yeah. like you mentioned. I always ask questions through all my life. But to, uh, a couple of days ago, I asked a question about a certain thing, and and I got an answer. And I'm like, what's the answer? Give up. No. no what? I'm not giving what? up. <laughs> I'm not giving up. Heck no. And I'm talking to the universe. I'm talking to my masters. I'm not giving yeah. up you gotta ever give up no i'm not giving up on that and i literally get the answer i don't like so i went for a walk and i'm like dang i'm not giving up yeah damn it <laughs> you know? yeah. Like, there's no way that i've come this, this far to so give up close. yeah i'm yeah. not giving up yeah let it go and they started speaking differently t- towards me like you know different language a little bit and using different words so mm. I-, I can kind of like adjust it with uh, more kindness not being mad at the situation right but accept it finally yes and i'm like but how can i give up on something i was building for so long and now you tell me to give up yeah you know and i literally like i i the, the universe for to me is my father mother but mm-hmm. especially mother yes uh, of, of course my mom mom amazing beautiful mother is here yes. but I'm talking about the spiritual aspect my mom is a part of the universe so yes uh, she is there as well like my father and so my dad my dad mom my great pa- you know great parent grandparents mm-hmm. uh great grandparents like all these aspects all these families of these generations are trapped not trapped but i gathered in the universe that yes. created the universe mm. and also mm. god but everything is god god is yes. in, in each and every one of us yeah. like each and every one of you it's the god is in you the god is in me the god is in the street so everything is a representation of god of that yeah. we are like little pieces of that one piece yes. that's out there right so connecting with that universe universal divine energy is crucial here and i i believe people are missing it that's why the frictions can be created like that's why people clash that's why Mm. people don't understand each other because they are disconnected some can ask for help the universe but some are missing that request some are missing that yeah ability and uh and they don't have even that intuition yes and ask yeah the right. or, the, or the awareness to yeah, yeah. like the, when it does right. come through to oh. even know if it's even happening right and that's yeah. the thing and 
that's one thing I wanted to talk about too, was just the work piece, because we hear it oftentimes in uh, self-help, spiritual, psychological kind of communities where it'll be like, you got to do the work and the work can mean different things to different people. And for me, I, you know, I think that it's really important to, first of all, get to the point where you're actually care about what's happened in your life, what were the lessons or, and are, we're always learning lessons, but up until the present moment, what were the lessons that you learned? Where the traumas that happened, the pain that maybe you experienced in your life, what came out of that? What were the lessons that you learned? How was their evolution in those moments? And without reflecting on the circumstances of our, the things that have happened, not only in our adult life, but also in our child life, because I like to talk about the inner child and we still have that little girl inside of us or the little boy that lives mm -hmm. there and they matter, right? They matter. And, um, and I, and I sometimes think that the bypassing of that or it's very easy to think, well, you know, that's doesn't, it's not applicable in my life right now because that was then and this is now. And I, I, I understand that, but oftentimes in our childhood, in our childhood years, a lot of those maybe woundings or traumas were formed and we act out of that in relationship. We are, mm -hmm. we have triggers that develop over the years. We are and we, we are, what we do sometimes is we'll project onto the other person, those parts of ourselves that haven't been healed or looked at. And so mm -hmm. how do you feel about the kind of the healing of our past traumas, woundings? You know, some people will say the shadow, all of these things are different words, but how important do you feel it is to heal those parts of ourselves to be able to form connection in an authentic you know, deep whole way. I think it is important to stop calling their new names. Mm, yeah. So like, like people labels. Put labels on them like, mm -hmm. uh, oh, this is my shadow work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shadow, it's very, in my opinion, it's very, can be dangerous mm -hmm. because it's a shadow. It's not yeah. a shadow work, you know, it's a, mm -hmm. it's a, it's just a past that you are dealing with that's it mm. you know what i mean because when we create like a uh, extra words mm. uh, they can actually they have potent energy and then yes. it's mm -hmm. like when someone is telling them i healed this person no you didn't heal anybody you're not healing people the people heal themselves Self, yeah sure yeah. Uh, uh, so it's the same thing it's like with the shadow work with the just a proper wording it's so important and crucial here if you want to dive in deeper on the spiritual level and you want to heal all the wounds um uh, so you want to i think uh stop uh just considering yourself as a certain being mm. or yeah coming back to certain label or word because mm. people call it that way Be oh because i read that book that re that book was amazing yeah. that book told me to do with this in this way and this how about you connect with the masters how yeah. about you connect with the universe the universe will tell you how to do it yeah the universe will call you uh, call the names of the name the way you've been taught on this planet the universe may speak a totally different language mm. and but it's understood by you and only right. you because it's the universe you yeah. know it's a divine energy and you know, I I like to say uh, the magi the ma magician use these secret words like mm. cheers, you know, like or or other words like abracadabra and things like that. These yes. words have power. There is a reason why they use mm -hmm. it, and they do have power. And so a lot of things are just not a magic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and right. This, yeah, mm -hmm. the word they're just real, mm -hmm. but they like to be called as magical, uh, mm -hmm. magical things because they're unreal for some people right. because the bird I cannot catch yes uh, yeah yeah so I think this is important to stop calling them but uh not even come back to your past anymore okay because yeah in my opinion like I but do this regular work right of cleansing because if you come back to your past and someone would ask me a question what would you tell yourself let's say you see yourself sitting on a chair and you're like three years old what would you say to yourself like what, what advice would you give yourself as a three years old girl mm -hmm. 
like yeah for sure that yeah at you know like I would, yeah it's like cashing rec records and I'm yes. like well what nothing <laughs> yeah nothing exactly I don't do that Mm -hmm. I do not want to connect because that's an additional in, in the invitation of another soul into my life. Again, mm -hmm. that's not connecting with yourself. Right. Uh, how, like, imagine you give your advice yourself when you are three years old, mm -hmm. you are co coming back in time. And then that's there are two, two of you. Yeah. Like, no, you're one. <laughs> you mm -hmm. know what i mean yeah yeah no it's i like, understand yes yeah it's just like uh like you know like i went through so much trauma and i did heal my all my wounds uh, within a years and i did and i uh, healing that with the lifestyle that i provide myself myself yeah. my cells mm -hmm. uh, into my body it mm -hmm. helped me heal on a several level and i never brought anything into any of my relationship right right so either on the friendship level or, or romantic level everything is healed and mm -hmm. it's actually even extremely loving that I don't know if everybody can handle <laughs> yeah like I was gonna say in your experience like in your uh experience with others not only people that you may be working with that are not fully raw or fruit based but even those mm -hmm. people in your life that are in your experience have you found that those people show up in that way like in a way that's just kind of uh feeling integrated with everything that may have happened in their life that they're able to kind of integrate and embody that in a relationship i've never i think experienced a truth person that is true of themselves mm. like they preach if that right. makes sense yes it does make sense uh, mm -hmm. and so th someone says they're fully on fully raw mm. i'm like okay and that person is around me saying oh my gosh you're really like fruitarian oh my god i've i've been in with so many fruitarians that they call themselves fruitarians and mcdonald like, no, no, they didn't eat fruits all the time like you right. are you're really right. pure fruitarian you don't even look at different food than fruits unless yeah. you have to or unless you're forced to have salad yeah but other than that like you are just like wow you, all you crave is durian or you crave is champadec or you crave is just jackfruit that's all yeah. you want and I'm like yeah like what's the why it's so weird well yeah. because that's wild and and uh, uh uh and then I I am around these people and I, I see them they call themselves certain way yes uh and they they they're not following it yeah mm -hmm. you know yeah. so i i kind of i kind of lost belief believe in uh in, uh and i'm not saying that everybody is like this boy because i do know yeah uh, individual maybe one maybe two that there are very similar to what I do, we just yeah. have different experience how we got to this level where we right. are today. Right. But but n n really not many of us. And this is just in not trying to, of course, judge anybody. No, no of, course. But, of course. But a lot of people say I am fully raw. I'm a vegan, and then they eat fish. That's just a simple example. Yes. Or yeah. I am raw vegan, but then they go on a, a raw vegan event but they still eat cooked food on that event yeah, right right i do not sacrifice uh, my i do not jeopardize my health i do not jeopardize my body because of one event that right. is offering me full spectrum of food oh because i will never try it again if i won't do it right now today here right now as it is it's served you know yeah. why don't you try it because i don't want to try it i yeah. just have I just value my body on that high level. I think the highest possible. And I just want to see where it's going to take me, you know, and yeah. how I can help the the world this way. And yeah. So, so in so your, in your relationship, like with others, not even on a, like on a romantic level, but also even in friendships, for example, do you see a 
like kind of a real demarcation line when it comes to those who are really truly authentically eating like they say fully raw or fruit based or you know just let's say raw because i think you're right there's probably very few that are really truly fruit based as opposed to someone who is eating the fish eating the you know saying raw but eating the cooked food like how in your experience on an energetic level do you see those energies show up in a different way? Yeah, fully on a full spectrum. Yeah. And it's crazy because I lived with many people before. And I need to tell you, a lot of people say, oh my gosh, I'm just going to do what Magdalena does and I'm just going to follow her mm -hmm. path. And I'm like, sure, feel free to do it. If you want to do it, do it. Yeah. But uh, you do it by yourself. I'm not responsible for your choices your choices yes yeah you're in an individual this is your individual path that you make your own decisions so you're responsible for yourself yeah. okay got it got it okay yes so i've been doing this for so many years so i know i can what when i can step back and have fun i can have fun way more often than any other person and uh, probably in this world because mm. I've been detoxing so many times, 14 week protocols, you know, yeah, like, yes. then eight week protocols, then fruit all the time. And so much fruit since I was a young girl, a little kid. And, and, and I believe that it helped me to be very determined and which what, what I want to achieve. And, and I, I, you know, a certain healthy person can have a four avocados a day, to be honest, if we have a healed body, we yeah. can handle fat well. Yes. And it won't gather in our tissues because that's not a fat problem. It's the eliminative system it's pro problem. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. It's a yeah. problem with the eliminative system. Uh, so if you if you may have experiencing issues with like, oh my gosh, I'm going to eat these four avocados. I'm going to be so fat after eating them every day for a week. Well, then look up your utilization. Yeah. Look up your digesting system, mm -hmm. digestive mm -hmm. system. Look at uh, look up in your uh, absorption, utilization, um, digestion, and also um, the way you interact with uh, the na nature. You know, with nature, with people around in on a spiritual level and emotional level. But it is also connected to your GI tract. Yeah. So I. I do. I can have that, and then the person can say, "Oh, so I can have four avocados a day, like you do." <laughs> like, no, no, no. <laughs> but see, that's what I'm saying. You take yes. responsibility for your. Everyone is different. You start. Everyone is if different. We are the same. Yeah, but we have different acidosis. Yes, we are the same, but we have different digestive system mm, because yeah. it all depends on your genes, or your strength, and weakness. Yes, you know, or your level where you mm. start from. Mm -hmm. uh, your journey at and and I believe that that's a crucial thing to focus and I, I, okay and I need to tell you this dear uh when I was with in a, a relationship with people that were that eat meat I yeah. were I was and I, I still am <laughs> in a relationship <laughs> with these people and I will never stop being uh, being with, uh, around them and they eat meat and they drink uh, dairy and they just do whatever they want and but then I come back after like five years you know to see them and yeah. they just their their health is horrible in a yeah. horrible stage and now they're telling me they're not eating dairy anymore they're not eating red meat they're yeah. not eating this meat what do you eat fish okay that's better I mean it's still meat but yeah but not any other meat, not any other dairy, uh, just the the the, the fish. Uh, I consider a fish a little bit like a part of dairy family as well yeah. because mm -hmm. it was for me. Yeah, totally. <laughs> um, I I put it in the same. I mean, to fit, it's just all under the same umbrella, really. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. And yeah. and they, they they their health decrease and 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 I'm like it's decreasing every every month and in a year and unfortunately i see more wrinkles more gray hair and it's just like you know it's life but uh but i see they are seeing that but unfortunately once they getting more dehydrated <laughs> they just see that yeah. there was a problem with the food mm -hmm. 
Um, yeah. And then also to like that connection piece of like having the ability to access those parts of ourselves that, you know, where we're able to like grow and evolve and, and see things that happen in life as maybe, you know, opportunities and the mm -hmm. ability to surrender and all of these things that come with cleansing the body and allowing the body to kind of be that open portal to yes because and if it's constipated then there's no flow you know when you think about like when you're constipated in your colon and you can't go to the bathroom well it's there's it's stuck like you're you're stuck and I look at it much the same in our connection aspect and you know the creating and all of these things it's like if we're stuck and we're not we don't have that clear clean energy flow things are just not going to maybe happen how we want them to things get skewed you know oh yeah yeah how um how do you feel when it comes to relationships where whether or not the person <laughs> is a, a meat eater cooked food dairy what eat fish doesn't matter whether they're raw food doesn't matter how do you feel or the notion that people come into our lives in relationships, that the relationship are the grounds of the most growth for our souls in this life, and that they come into for lessons and that through being with that person, and oftentimes those that person can mirror certain aspects of ourselves that maybe need to be healed. And so that maybe they do not stay for a long time. They come, we learn, we grow, and then we move on. Or sometimes people get stuck and they stay in those relationships for a lifetime. But what are your thoughts on that when, when it comes to relationships and for the purpose of growth and expansion of our souls? That's my favorite question. Thank you for that question. You're oh my welcome. God. <laughs> oh, let me sit comfortably. <laughs> yeah, it's a good uh, one. <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Oh my heavens. Please don't stuck in a relationship <laughs> like this. Just let it go and let it let your soul to be free. There's nothing worse than stuck uh soul in a mm. relationship that you don't want to be you think yeah. you want to be on a physical uh level because your emotions are taking part, yes. <laughs> taking mm -hmm. over. And you, you feel trapped and like, it's like, dang, why have these emotions towards this person? Well, uh, because you may need to do some extra work on yourself. And, you know, there is everything happens for a reason, right? Yes. We all know it. Yes, we do. And Yes. And I believe that in order to get in a deeper level, we just need to let it let it go and mm. if you, you 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 a lot of people are like why i can't achieve that desired dream that i always dreamed of and everybody else is so happy but me yeah well think about it this way that there is a, always it's you <laughs> yeah you stopping yourself from achieving it because your hands are full of other stuff and probably that really heavy relationship that you're yeah. in and you are not having a free space to achieve anything else mm -hmm. because you focus your energy and you waste your energy on that specific relationship that it's yeah. not going to work or it's not working yes. anyway. So uh, uh, at that moment, so I would say it's important to let things go and you never know how the life's going to turn. Maybe you're going to come back in the future together right. if the person, if the soul is grown up enough to your that i would say yeah. if it's rooted in your uh, mm -hmm. uh, to the i don't like to say levels because i don't want i don't want to like you know say yeah. that something is worse or better yeah um yeah but it's just the depth in my opinion it's like the the deeper you are digging within your in yourself and finding your true bond with god uh the more you can give a love to another human being yeah and the more you can bond and connect and you can you just have nothing but love to offer yeah and to me life is simple to me i can live every day without any argument i've never argued with my mom never. Mm. can you imagine we never had any yeah. argument wow it's amazing we never had yeah we never Beautiful. had any argument with my sister we never had any argument with my grandma 
Mm-hmm. We always talk, we discuss, yeah, and we may are mad at each other, and just it's just a millisecond we laugh at this. We just make jokes. We just make yeah. laugh, and we just laugh like, okay, I gotta pee because I laugh so yeah, laugh so hard. Yeah, <laughs> and it's so just you like, take you're it lightly. So... You're you're light. Yeah, life is too short, and 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 I have an amazing contact with with uh, with um, you know my my loved ones, and I cannot say any bad word about anybody. It's just always like if if it's released that the tension they release it, and then it's beautiful again right. it's but there is a space of releasing emotions so on the romantic level let's come back to this one there is something very important if when we eat fruits there is no room to be evil there is no room yeah for being uh dishonest there is no room for being mean mm. or for, uh, or have we don't have a space to even attack another right. human yeah. being or Back, back yeah because our ego is on a totally different level yeah. actually the ego turns into um the divine feminine energy or masculine energy yes uh and and ego is hidden it's but it's in on a in healthy way you just don't use ego on mm. people right so yeah. you're not projecting you're not projecting onto others no and you don't yeah. judge you don't judge yeah the real love is free of judge the real love doesn't have room to you did this this is your fault Mm -hmm. you know when people say stuff like this yeah to me it's you know what you deal with your karma you know i have such a beautiful life and i can be with myself (laughs) yes and and it's all good i'm still gonna be happy i'm yeah. gonna be crazy happy you know it's it's just the whole point of not ruining your own energy towards something else and um so here is uh the thing when we eat fruit we are very calm we are mm. loyal to eat ourselves especially yes. because how can you be on fruits and do something different than the nature is designed yeah to do like this is there is no room for anger there is like no non, non-reactive no non-reactivity yeah no violence no Even, violence um, non-violence yeah, yeah 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 and and people can get mad at you because you're so calm mm-hmm. and i've been in situation like yes. this even in the store or any other place mm-hmm. and i'm like and just looking at these people i'm like uh uh okay <laughs> that's you or problem not yeah mine. people want that engagement they want that mm-hmm. charge you know because they're looking for that but yeah you yes. just kind of diffuse it with your energy you know and the, yeah and they they come back and they say sorry yeah they always do that yeah so just spreading love this is in my opinion is not reacting not interacting don't waste your energy don't even respond whatever just have your ride you know wrap yourself with a beautiful colors yeah and wrap yourself with beautiful colors and just go with it you know run the world go and float but speaking of these fruits when we eat fruits we are calm when we eat meat or dairy or cooked food yeah we become aggressive yeah because that's the carnivore effect well do you see carnivores that are calm no. I've never seen a carnivore animal that is calm. No. Carnivore animal usually are. Oh, yeah. Growl. Or just so I'm much never... energy, like not like, a calm it. energy, but just this kind yeah. of like the energy is just like, it feels like, like a nervous energy, you know, that's just mm-hmm. always like, just where you just want to say like, calm down. <laughs> yes. Calm yeah. down. Like, and calm down. And ple- yes. And please be honest with me. Yes. Because I feel that something is off. Mm. Lower you know? your voice to, you know, yes. all of these markers. There's markers. And sometimes uh, also these people can have a calm voice, but they're very mean in these messages. Mm. So that's something too. To Manipulative, consider. you know. Manipulative, narcissistic mm-hmm. way of yes. speaking. So I, I like to say be aware and cautious and conscious that, uh, we are surrounded by things, by the souls, 
they're designed to just put us down when you are vibrating so high. <laughs> yeah. So deep on that spiritual level and nothing can, I don't know, uh, cover your bright light and yes. you shine through you know the fingers nothing can stop you you know you yeah. shine so bright that i can't handle your brightness you know mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> it's like I putting the garlic this. in front of the the vampire yeah. <laughs> right oh, yeah. yeah 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 so uh it's so it's it's so important to to notice that and i did experience situations like this when i saw uh, individuals eating food that it's for them to eat and the connection is amazing when someone eats the same way like you do in a relationship it's a mind-blowing experience yes it's something that i cannot compare to anything else is something unbelievable and something it's hard to describe the, the way you see the world with that other human being is just something you really need to experience that to understand yes. yeah because it's like you are high of that energy and mm. it's not on the sexual level it's no. on the spiritual level yes it's crazy you get an orgasm by just being around that being person, around each it, other yes here. but it's here it's yeah. emo emotional you're just like high you're just like super high and and you 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 fly in this world you're not walking mm. you're flying up a day and you are just like above the earth above the the ground you are not you want to be grounded but it's it's impossible to ground because love is <laughs> i know well you have like the love component and then you have the energetics of like and, the the, uh -huh. the fruit coming through right and so next thing you know you're like you're off the ground yes and you are have no obstacles in your way because mm. how you're above the ground yeah there's nothing nothing yes. you just flo fly you're floating you you're floating yeah. yeah all the time yeah so once this is amazing the colors you see the, the the places you see and and then an amazing stuff if you are with someone that it's exactly let's say the same amount of years like you on this journey and that can be even amazing like that can be even better yeah you 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 feel past lives you experienced past lives you have the same connections you perhaps had the same experience uh from the past lives i did meet some individuals beautiful we are so close with each other and and we uh relate to our past lives hey how this room look like oh this is how they look. yeah freaking yeah. exactly the same how you know i i draw this room this is how it look no way you were there too you know it's yeah the connections the way we do this connect uh, the, the the we connect through the uh through the astral world is the mm. same thing we yes. don't we don't need to text uh send text messages we don't need to call each other we we see and connect through the uh, conscious uh, through the consciousness uh, yeah yeah conscious energy it's just amazing like i don't know i'm thinking about um, right now about this person and i'm sending that message right now to their brain cells literally through the consciousness and i know that person received it and i know today i'm gonna get an answer and it's always happening. Yeah, it's not amazing. <laughs> and then it's, it's the text message boom in my mailbox, yeah. you know. Of course. Yeah. And you and because you're able to access that part of yourself. And yes. circling back around to what you first said at the beginning, where we all have the ability, but it's just you have to be in the state, in the physical, emotional, mental capacity to be able to access those parts of yourself. And so doing the cleansing eating the food, all of these things, you know, can assist in the yes. ability to be able to connect to those parts of ourselves so that we can um, have these experiences. Yes. Make yourself alkaline. Alkaline alkalinity is the key. Mm. Uh, uh, alkalinity is the key. And this is the most important, you know, yes. aspect. And when we consume fruits, we are alkaline. When we consume meat or dairy or even a cooked food, vegan cooked food, it's an yeah. acidic part of energy. Mm -hmm. 
So what in a, which one would you like to be? Yeah. You know, I would definitely prefer to pick the alkalinity. Uh, that's why I can experience my life on the highest level possible. That's why. Right. Why can I be so happy even going through the most traumatic experiences in my yeah. life? Well, there's a reason and answer to that. And why I build up so quickly to the level of the way I used to be or even stronger than I used to be. Mm, yeah. And, you know, I do see people love to tease each other. There's nothing wrong with teasing each other. You can tease someone in a very healthy and sweet yes, way and a loving, loving way. way. Yes. But people like to tease each other in a very envy way and in the in an acidic way as well. And yeah. you can recognize quickly who consume what just based on the behaviors. Yeah. And I just want to come back very quick because we just I I started writing a book uh, not a long time ago. I don't know when it's going to be finished, maybe like with a year or two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's every gonna day. Come like, out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, every day something and we, we'll see where we're going to end up being. But I just put there the connection on the romantic level. And I do have a chapter about the um, romantic level, the with the partners that are really truly on this lifestyle and what you can experience and also uh with the partners that are not and you can see the difference it's just like with the bare like your bare eye you don't need to like dive in deeper into details or do research or anything yeah, like yeah. that because it's just so clear to notice and also the same person gonna uh, react totally different on the same situation than the other person you know you can see which one which person consumes what Ex yeah. again right that that that's the contrast that you can see easily in life yeah. and i and i do talk about an amazing abilities that we possess that i can wake up in the morning or in the middle of the night and the masters are telling me magdalena you just do go there and just do this and the, something is going to be in this and this bag and you're going to find it <laughs> yeah like a treasure <laughs> hunt <laughs> yeah 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 and you're going to find it because it's there okay and i don't yeah. know what it is i don't know why i was in there mm -hmm. and then i'm like holding it in my hand and someone is asking me hey where is my well i'm actually holding it like here wow i yeah. don't know why but that's i've been that's here how, how, yeah it's beautiful yeah it's so a lot of situations like this in my life are like this you know what i have a like i wake up in the middle of the night and i'm fully aware i'm fully conscious and and i'm just getting these signs like hey magdalena maybe you want to check up on this even with my business anything you know yeah anything yeah it's and just you are an alert and you're your the brain is sharp the, mm. the, the 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 spiritual concept is just so deeply affected by the divine energy that it's unbelievable and uh, so strong that nothing and no one can hurt it you know or disconnect it yeah um, and and, so and the universe is speaking to you you know that's the thing it's literally speaking to you showing you um yeah. I had not too long ago, maybe like six months ago or so when I was really, you know, I, cause I, I've, I've talked about it before I'm moving to Hawaii and, um, <laughs> on this Ooh, podcast and, in Hawaii. Yeah. and I, you know, I was just said, I just need, show me a sign today, today, by the end of the day, I just want to know <laughs> I'm living in Seattle. Okay. In, in a small town called Kirkland. And I walked out of a Maybe shop. don't say that because you're going to have so many fans right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I walk out of the store about 15 minutes after saying it. And there's a car with a Hawaii license plate right in front. I know Hawaii license plate here does not happen. I mean, I've never seen one before. So things like that where, you know, it's like you ask and you get an answer. It's like the oh. universe is listening to you all the time. Yeah. You know, it really and truly ev is. Ev everything happens for you. Remember yes. that. Yes. Everything. Yeah. This story is written for you. Yeah. You know, we are amazing, spectacular human beings that we can, we have the most potent energy in our hands, in our soul, in our, yeah. uh, in, in our divine expression that yes. no one is stronger than we are. Yeah. And no one ever going to be, not out of the computers, nor of the, uh, 
you know, any energy that they're trying to create. Yeah. It's you so know, true. people, human is the most powerful machine on this planet. And there is no doubt about it. We are yeah. just the richest. We are built of, out of gold. And uh, that's why we are so valuable. <laughs> yeah. I, I, you reminded me too. I had a uh, professor Spira on, um, he was one of my first podcasts and I remember him saying, cause you're talking about like the reactivity of people who are, you know, maybe, uh, who knows what they're eating. And, um, <laughs> he say, you know, it is true. No, like mass shooter, no, I mean, all of the terrible things that we see sometimes in human beings, they're not because they're fruitarians, like the fruit, it's not a fruitarian who's going in and doing a mass shooting. It's not, you know, a raw vegan doing these things. And I mean, I, when he said that, I never really thought about it because I was like, oh my gosh, that's so true. You yeah. know, so look at, look up at the other things, right. Who is managing certain things, uh, even in yeah. business, you can Absolutely. just check out like a, who gets the highest the best uh well not a person that <laughs> runs on the fruit and it's not only because it's just the i think it's the competition thing yeah and we people that eat raw or eat here is the difference i want to also just like uh clarify one thing i've been raw vegan before and i've been a fruitarian and i am fruitarian still i get came back to being fully fruitarian uh, 10 years ago and and even more than that and and I need to tell you I, not even I came back that's so funny say I always been it's just yeah. you know I was pushed by society yeah, yeah. Some other. Mm -hmm. so but what I'm trying to say is that just a second dang please edit that I just want to remind myself okay. what I want to say because I had like another point and I'm like oh I'm gonna share that too and then I'm, I'm done but then now I'm freaking, I forgot what I want to say there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> It'll come back to you. It'll come back to you. You were talking about Professor Spira and about energies because I was also mentioning about like the, the higher like, powers. Ah, and like, like, yeah, that carnivores just want to ah, attack yes. and compete and, and chase and, 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 and judge. So I do know uh, some people that are thinking there are, I don't know, fruitarian or vegans, yeah. you know, and, and, and they're successful as well, of course, but are they really fruitarians or raw vegans? Mm. No, because they're, you're around them and they still consume cooked food. Yeah. That would make them angry, angry and uh, kind of like having abilities of running after money. Mm hmm you know, yeah. if that makes sense, if the materialistic stuff, it's nothing wrong with that. Sure, if that's their choice. Uh, but I noticed that people crave money more, the ones that are not uh, fully on mm -hmm. this spiritual realm. Yeah, level. Well, yeah. And I think there's a level of humble being humble mm -hmm. when you're um, on this level. And yeah, I think maybe some of the greed for acquisitions and objects and these types of things come into play because health is not the priority in a lot of these people's lives. They're not, you know, it's like, I'm going to define yes. myself by the house that yeah. I have, the car that I drive, my my trophy wife I mean all of these things that maybe somebody's going to define themselves and their physical health is literally at the very bottom when it comes to their priorities and it shows in their physical aspect and how they conduct themselves and so you're just not going to see that same type of embodiment if you're living a raw food lifestyle because your priorities are completely different in life yes this is this is gold for them. Yeah. <laughs> this is gold for me. Right? Yeah. <laughs> the seeds from fruit. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, fruit. exactly. Mm -hmm. The fruit is this the the gold, the new yeah. gold for me. Yeah. And and it's always been. And and this is the highest quality of energy you can receive. And also there is a difference between raw vegan, being raw vegan and fruitarian mm -hmm. because being fruitarian changes the energy on a deeper level. 
right being a little vegan is totally different energy so as someone is keep saying oh i am like fruitarian actually we're vegan so like how about you not putting labels on yourself but uh see the depth you know yeah. but i really feel different different around raw vegan people and mm. around fruitarian people as well yeah yeah mm. it's, it's palpable yeah it, we can connect absolutely easily and everything but the energy is still different yeah you can feel the difference because mm. there is raw vegan diet and the raw vegan diet would i've been really fat free fully fat free i've been eating nothing but uh, salads when i was raw vegan mm -hmm. i was eating nothing but salads and but mostly fruit all the time fruit yeah. and just uh, once a day a salad or twice a day uh, but lettuce, literally just uh, vegetables. And yeah. I didn't have much fat. I didn't have much seeds. Uh, it was so pure and clean. Uh, yeah. But there are raw vegans that eat everything that is raw and they still use dehydrator to dehydrate the food. You know, yeah. just like doing all these and extra I, things. Yeah, and I think too, like people who are um, stepping into this, you know, I've talked about this before too, where there might be like a progression. Like when I first started out, I mean, my journey started 30 years ago when I was like 20 years old. So back then when my kids were young, I used the dehydrator a lot. I mean, I made them all kinds of stuff. I had seeds mm -hmm. and nuts soaking on my, I mean, it was like a full on restaurant in my kitchen, but I evolved out of that where if I eat something now that's like, if I was to eat the, what I did then as a raw foodist and I yeah. ate a lot of dehydrated foods, I mean, I would feel horrible absolutely horrible so it's like it happens sometimes it doesn't happen overnight it could be like an evolution and a kind of a transgression to get to that place but like you just said making notes along the way of how do you feel how are you connecting really tapping into the body listening you know asking the questions these are all things that someone could do to kind of just get a good idea of where they're at when it comes to what we've spent this last hour talking about. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel <laughs> I feel like it's been only a 10 minutes. I know, right? Okay, on to the next subject. <laughs> Let's change the outfits. Yeah, change the outfits. We'll see you guys back here in 10 minutes. Maybe five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, or two like yeah, yeah just the top you know just the top just change the top the oh yeah no I don't need to change the bottom I'm just wearing sweatpants underneath this nice yeah, shirt me too. <laughs> oh my God, so like, yeah I gotta stay warm you don't um, want to know what I have under my feet <laughs> yeah I have like mismatched socks, honestly, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. It's so funny. Like, I, um, I don't want to even want to show vegans what I'm wearing right now and my feet. That's what I received from my family. My family. So. <laughs> but it's keeping you really warm. Oh my gosh, it does. And I'm very grateful. Uh, so how, yeah. so how, what, what, how would you say, just kind of wrapping this up today, what, what are some things that, people who are watching this can actually put into practice to develop deeper connections to not only to others, but to themselves to develop those aspects of themselves that you spoke about at the beginning of the show. So connect uh, with the other individual, let's say. Mm. Yeah. Sure. In, a, in a relationship. Yeah. I think it's important to, to talk, to be vulnerable with each other mm -hmm. and to always be crazy vulnerable seriously yeah. I know it's hard it can be hard mm -hmm. but I am very vulnerable pe person and maybe that's why it's not too hard for me to speak up the truth and just like share what I really desire and yes and and what that person desires so yeah. just ask questions dig dive in deeper into their existence uh, about the traumas like you beautifully mentioned in their past traumas like the traumatic yeah. accident situations because that's what created them mm -hmm. and you can actually help them to heal the wounds yeah uh, through the, the the lifestyle you're on and also ask the person 
what food are you eating? You know, the person's going to say, oh, I mean, meat and dairy, but you are on the level of consciousness where you are plant-based already. Ask yourself, are you, ask this person, are you willing to change, you know, for yourself? Not mm-hmm. for me only, but for yeah. yourself. The mm-hmm. most important thing is for you. Yeah. Uh, not the, the, you know, I don't want to bring that up, the story that you, you're you stinking. <laughs> <laughs> If you consume <laughs> stuff like that, to me, you're a stinker. Like I cannot get closer to you. You know, yes. I can't. Yeah, even yeah, right. Be on the romantic level with anybody, like when they consume meat or dairy or anything or mm-hmm. smoke cigarettes mm-hmm. or they are in envy or judgmental, it's just like and their energy is not even there. I don't even meet people. You know, like yeah, they don't my... even come into your life. They're not even in no. Your life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't even try to attract. I don't even want these people. It's easy to attract, of course, because your energy when you are raw like your beautiful yes, self yes you it's easily to attract so attract souls like this lost souls and they want to just drain that energy they don't even want to train but they do this mm. anyway even yeah. if they don't want to because you're like a beacon in a lot of ways right <laughs> you're like that beacon on the yes. lighthouse right and it's like yeah. or moth to a flame whatever you know there's like an attraction there because on yes. a soul level you know, every, every one of us on a soul level, I think is really truly wants that light. They want that connection. Yes. Don't try to find a leader in a relationship. Mm -hmm. You both be leaders. Yeah. But also understand feminine and masculine energy. Yeah. And so, people can refer to our last podcast for a deep yeah, dive into yes, masculine please. and feminine energies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. please refer to part two. <laughs> yes, part two. Yes. And because once you are on the same page with everything you want to in your life, achieve in your life, have in your life, then it's just the energy is going to flow. Yeah, you know there will be no in, in no debris, no 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 trash around you, no mess any. Nothing's gonna mess with your energy. Yeah, anymore. There is you won't be trapped in this uh, world of enemies, of judgment, of jealousy, of mm-hmm. you know cheating one on another. Yeah, and stuff like that. It's just yeah. freedom of loyalty freedom of speech freedom of being you and love and conditional love that's the unconditional love so just be on the same page and that's the most important and just the lifestyle what you eat that person has to be at the same level yeah yeah and once the same yeah because that's gonna be hard that you're putting trap on yourself you know otherwise it's so true. It's so true. Yeah. Um, how, so just while we have you here, so you, you are kind of traveling right now, but are you still like offering up your consultations? Like, are you, you're still available your, your, um, your consultations for iridology and all of these amazing things. You're still doing that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Iridology is still there on the list uh, as a number one, I think the most popular then also, the uh, I do have really cool programs for the hair. We grow a program that it's re- can be really potent and powerful, and it's wow. been, uh, oh my gosh, you can really it's a mind blowing yeah experience, and you can connect on the levels that you never connected to because it's not only about the products that are used, but it's about the consciousness, energy, and also the lifestyle that you're feeding the food the the yeah. hair with. Yeah, and also the teeth. Another um, program that I also offer people that are having uh, issues with their uh, mouth, you know, okay. or oh, um, lymphatic amazing. system in their head area. Yeah, it's, it's just so important to to care, and also like you know, with the sight, like any kind of problems if you have, it's a holistic touch to it. Yes, and so uh, the fruit, <laughs> yeah, the food is gonna be that a fruitful outcome that you want to achieve you know you want to pick your fruits so that's what it's going to bring you when you're going to follow the truth and trust the nature and 
yeah yeah and 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 all these aspects also the spiritual work yeah and the exactly That's energy healing say. work yeah the aura reading uh, stuff like that i everything i do have in my services so you're more than welcome to do that i also travel to my clients uh, i do travel a lot either here to new york or you know to other states uh okay. i don't like to like uh, tell more like details please follow me on instagram for more because there are so many cool stuff so yeah coming. yeah for sure well and i'm gonna i'll list again your all of your contact your website and your instagram and and i think those are probably the two best places to get in touch with you aren't they oh yeah yeah, yeah. that's more than enough <laughs> that's more than enough Oh, well, you know what? Thank you again for coming on. I mean, I really feel like we, you guys, we're probably going to do another one. I mean, there's (laughs) more. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, yeah, we're going to keep doing these because I think it's really important to have um, conversations about these things. Like in the raw food community, there's all kinds of different subjects about like the diet, which is extremely important. And it always comes in, we touched on it here today, the importance of the food. But it's also, I think, really important to give some other aspects with the emotional, the spiritual connection, these types of things that sometimes don't get discussed or like our conversation last time about the the masculine and the feminine. I mean, these are things that are all part of uh, as who we are. And I think it's great to be able to bring those up and discuss them in a way that we do. So, mm-hmm. yeah, there's always oh, more to talk about. You're so beautiful. Thank you for <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we always have, yeah, really, really beautiful time. I actually had something on my mind, but we are done already. So do you want to talk? Do you want to say it? You can if you want. Uh, you think it will? Yeah. I mean, maybe one day we can uh, do this experiment and uh, show people how have like uh, set up like a few people, you know, like uh, this person eats mixed Mm. food. This person eats vegan, cooked food, raw vegan, fruitarian, 100%. Yeah, 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 (laughs) yes. And just have these people, including us. Uh, sitting and uh, just have a one question and how are we going to proceed with that question? How are we going to solve this problem and yes. find a solution? I and then that. you see, right? And did you see the contrast? Then you're going to be- believe which one is the truth, which one is really the the powerful one yeah. that it's picking up from the divine energy. I love that. And I'm not trying to uh, I'm not trying to be full of myself or anything like that, because maybe you will discover that I don't know, Meteor has that concept for you that that this, you know, that you're looking for. Uh, But I'm trying to show the contrast. Yeah. To people. And I think uh, just being on my path that I'm following, I am such a blessed spirit. And I know now why I, I picked my mom as my mom. Because mm. she allowed me to be full yeah. of fruits. Yeah, right. And yeah, she never judged me. Yeah. Uh, and she always was allowing me to do what I want to do. And she trusted me yeah. since I was a little girl and Beautiful. my intuition. So I am very grateful and blessed. And I'm honoring her to more than anybody else in this yeah. world. So, so beautiful. Yeah. Okay, well, let's do it. Stay tuned for part four. <laughs> All right, for a never ending story. The never ending story. It never <laughs> ends. Okay, have a beautiful day, everybody. Thank you so much. <laughs>